Welcome. In this session, we are going to continue with the CompuPlast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory flat die module and build on the PVC sheet die that we developed in the prior flat die session. Now, if we recall, we open this project, we'll see that we used the automatic manifold shape design to come up with the optimum shape that also gave a good distribution at the exit. So here we have the graph at the die exit. We have uh, less than 1%, approximately a half percent flow variation at this exit. However, we only optimized or developed the manifold and restrictor section, and the rest of the die hasn't really been uh, optimized or, or, or for that matter, um, designed properly. So we're going to show you how we, how we do that. So in the distributor here, I'm going to click on the chamber. And of course, the chamber doesn't have the correct size. Typically, we have about a, um, we'll put about a quarter inch here on the chamber. So I'm going to say that in the chamber, the gap and the length will be constant. And the gap will be 0 0.25 inches. And I'm going to make the length of my chamber one inch long. So uh, now you can see we have a step here between the um, restrictor and the chamber. So what I'm going to do is go to the distributor, click on the chamber right here, and then add a section bef just before that. And I'm going to call this section here Transition 1. So this is going to be the transition between the re restrictor and the chamber. And I'm going to go up to the transition. I'm going to say that the length of this section will be constant. So I'm just going to worry about changing the gap. And if we call the restrictor gap, was set at um, 60 thou. So I'm going to go to the transition and I'm going to start it at 60 at both ends. So that's in the center and at the edge. And then I'm going to change the gap at the exit of the transi uh, transition section to match the gap of the, of the um, uh, chamber. And I'm going to use a little 0.5 inch transition. So here I'm going to just adjust this so we can see the side view a little better. So here we're transitioning from the restrictor to the relaxation chamber. And now we need to determine also the setup of our die lips. So we're going to go up here to the lips and we're going to see that it's roughly set up to about a millimeter, 40 thou. So in our lips we're going to have gap and length constant. And I'm going to specify a lip gap of 0 0.100. And here we're going to put a length of, let's say, 0.5 inches. But again, we have a step change between these two positions. So we're going to click on the distributor section, click on the lip, and say, add me a section just prior to that. I'm going to call this one transition 2. And then go to transition 2 and say that the um, length will be constant. But the gap will change from 0.25 and go to 0 0.1, and here 0.25 and go to 0 0.1. And we'll do that transition over a quarter inch. So here you can see that the um, restrictor uh, transitions into the relaxation chamber and then back down to the final um, die exit gap. And when we go and run our simulation, we notice that the solve button isn't available. We need to go to the temperatures and make sure that all the new sections we added have the correct temperature settings. Then we can proceed with the solution. And we can see that our flow variation got slightly worse uh, because we took away some of the resistance in the, in the prior sections, but only a little bit, so it's still less than 1%. And um, we have maybe a little bit uh, more pressure, but nothing very significant because our channels are, are relatively relatively large. And then on here, we can look on the die. We can look at our shear stress. Let's say here, that's the shear rate. Sorry, shear stress. And we can see that the shear stress reduces a little bit uh, in the relaxation chamber, but the lowest value is still 6.6, .6, which still is above our, our critical values and everything is, is, is acceptable. So that's how we add the additional sections 
and complete the um, die design. Thank you very much.